I'm in the section of clinical cardiology. Uh, my scope of practice is pretty broad, so in terms of the types of patients I see, it's pretty much anybody with a heart um, or questions about it. I often work with trainees, so it's not uncommon that a resident or a fellow might come and do an initial interview, uh, and then you'll see me, but you get my full attention, and it's really just me asking a lot of questions before I do a physical exam and trying to get um, a good understanding of what's going on and how I might help. I mean, I enjoy seeing structural or valvular heart disease. I enjoy seeing patients who uh, have sleep apnea and heart disease. It's kind of an interest of mine. The relationship is difficult to tease out because people with sleep apnea tend to have the same risk factors as people with heart disease. But it does appear that independent of all the shared risk, that there's something about sleep apnea that increases your chances of developing heart disease. And if you have heart disease, makes it more challenging to manage, makes your outcomes worse. You know, one of my interests is trying to figure out, you know, what is the, you know, the common culprit there, and is there anything that we can do to fix it, aside from the standard treatments for sleep apnea. When I'm not here, I travel a good bit. Um, I have a wife and two sons who are in college. Uh, when time permits, we travel together quite frequently. Uh, we enjoy skiing. Uh, I've gotten into trail running, which, you know, is fun. Uh, you know, I end up with a lot of scrapes and bruises that I have to explain to patients from time to time. But, um, you know, that's kind of how I spend my free time.